good afternoon guys and welcome to part two of my cage preparation vlog. In the last vlog I showed you how I made this lovely cage and in this part I'm going to be showing you all the things I'll be doing to make the inside of the cage a more exciting and enriching environment. I have already made a start on some of the prep work for the inside of the cage but just the boring stuff, the cutting out the shelves, the varnishing, the stuff that takes quite a long time and isn't worth vlogging. So I'm going to show you guys what I have made so far how it's going to be used and then I'll also be making a few extra pieces today and we will be putting them all inside the cage. So the first thing I should note is that I have finally added in the perspex for both the doors so they're nice and secure and looking lovely and on the inside here I have just laid out the shelves that I have made so far. So over here we have these stepping shelves. These are intended to be uh, kind of like a staircase. They just fix onto the wall like that and you just have multiple ones they go up to the next level and those are just two more steps there just slightly larger ones then we have a fairly normal looking corner shelf but to give it a bit more character I did remove the corners over here so it's a slightly different shape then we have this thing which is kind of like a tunnel shelf I suppose and it's intended to be fixed onto the wall up here where you can see all the holes are intended to be fixed onto the wall and then you have this nice Tunnel. This is actually very, very easy to make. All you need for it, two lengths of wood, the same width, uh, one length which is slightly wider. I think these are five inches and this one is six. And then you just attach those together. Then on the front here, I took two different sizes of circle cutting tool and I cut out three different windows. Then I just sanded the whole thing down, sanded down these edges. I did the same with these shelves. What I like to do is just sand off those corners just to give them a softer, rounder look and then just varnish the whole thing. And then the final shelf I have made is this weird wibbly wobbly one. I just felt a bit adventurous with my jigsaw tool. Um, so I just sketched this out on a bit of wood and then cut it out, sanded, varnished, and I think it looks fantastic and it is intended to go in one of the corners. Now I do want to make at least one more shelf for this cage and I already have it sketched out over here. You can see <laughs> lots of different lines because I couldn't decide on what size I wanted it, uh, but it's just this kind of chubby L shape I suppose. Uh, and the reason I've made it this shape is because I'm going to be making a ramp that leads up to this section over here. So I wanted it to be a little more interesting than just a regular rectangle. So my very first task today is to cut this out, also to cut out the ramp that I've measured out, and then I can get sanding and varnishing. Okay, so we have the shelf finished, sanded, just needs varnishing, and also the ramp in the same condition. And the way these two are going to fit together, this will go into one corner of the cage, and then the ramp will be hinged underneath, so it's sat like that. And what the hinge will allow for is if I have different levels of substrate, say if it's deeper one time or more shallow another, then it will allow this to raise and lower depending on how deep or shallow the substrate is. Now before I go ahead and varnish these, I've actually decided I want to make another shelf for going up in the top corner. The way I have it in my head is near the top of the cage, we're going to have that tunnel tube uh, with all the holes in it. And then I want a suspension bridge, which I'm going to have to build tomorrow because I don't have the bits for it today. I'm gonna to have to go to uh, the hardware store and get some tomorrow. But I'm gonna do a suspension bridge across to another shelf which will be sat above this one. So now I just need to uh, figure out what shape I want that shelf to be. And once again, cut it, sand it, and then varnish everything. So there we go, that is the upper shelf done, looking fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and varnish that, the other shelves, and then leave them to dry. And in the meantime, I will start attaching the shelves that are already finished into the cage, but I'm gonna need a little bit of help for this. Now, I mentioned earlier that I was going to make a suspension bridge from that shelf over to the tunnel, and I thought I would have to wait until tomorrow to get the pieces, but actually what I was going to use these steps for, I now no longer need them, so I think I'm gonna use these to make the suspension bridge. So all I should need to do to make this bridge is to just put two holes in each piece of wood like this that go through the other side, 
and then line each piece up and thread a piece of string through each hole and then just add a couple of hooks on the end so I can attach it uh, to each shelf and that should be it. I like spaghetti. Elizabeth. So there is the finished product, it's got a little bit of movement in it and on the end I've just added a couple of these hooks and these are what I will be using to attach it to the shelves. On the shelves themselves I've hammered in a couple of U-nails halfway and then the hooks can just go in there, here we go, and the other shelf will be up here for the other end of the bridge to hook into. And I think this is going to be the last thing on my list now before we put the final shelves into the cage and that is attaching the ramp to this shelf. So I have just a regular hinge there. I'm going to turn this thing upside down. There we go. And I'm just going to attach the hinge on there. Well, my camera's battery decided to run out while we were putting in the last of the shelf, so unfortunately I didn't get any footage of that, but I can show you what the finished result looks like. And here it is, and I am so happy with the way this has turned out. I didn't really have any real plans for the way this was going to look, I just kind of made it up as I went along, but it has turned out really, really good, or at least I think so. I am very happy with it. So on the left hand side we have the corner shelf with a little step to get up to it. Now it is quite high off the floor here, but of course there is going to be substrate in that gap. And on the right side we have the ramp leading up to the little L-shaped shelf. Then we have a little step here that leads up through the gap in the back of that shelf onto the suspension bridge, which then goes into the tunnel and onto the wibbly wobbly shelf. I am so freaking happy with the way this cage has turned out. I'll be honest with you guys, I went into this project half blind because I only had a vague idea of how I wanted it to look. I had like rough measurements, a rough idea, and most of it was just sort of making it up as I went along and running into a few problems that I didn't anticipate and having to solve those. But it was so much fun to make and it just, I think, looks brilliant. This is probably the best cage that I've made to date. I've made a lot of cages over the years, way too many cages. It, I, it really is a thing that has to stop at some point, but this I'm so thrilled with. This, this is just, this is my baby now. All that's left to do now is to add in the substrate, the toys, the supplies. I also think I'm going to make a hammock, which I can hang in front of the holes of the tunnel, tubey shelf thing, so it's accessible from those holes. Just to add a little safety up there, because of course it is quite high up. But you guys will see all of that, you'll see exactly what the cage looks like, because I will be doing a full furnished cage tour after I have introduced you to the new resident. And speaking of the new resident, some of you have already guessed what it is, although some of you are guessing way outside of the box. Bring it back in, guys. If everything goes to plan and there are no hiccups, which obviously I can't guarantee, I should be bringing him or her home sometime next week, probably nearer to the end of next week. We'll just see how things go for now, but it shouldn't be much longer before you get to meet the new pet. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are very excited about meeting the newbie and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.